In today's video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this totally for free. What's up guys, Nathan here. Today we're gonna go over something really cool. Now if you have the studio version of Resolve, you may know about the face refine feature. It's basically like magic. You go into your OFX and you pull out the face refinement tool. We're gonna toss that on our clip here and then we're just gonna analyze it. It's gonna go through, analyze every frame and it's looking for a face. Then we're gonna toss that little overlay away and now check this out. Boom, wrinkles, gone, blemishes, gone. And today I'm gonna show you how to get these kinds of results for free. Be sure to hit the like button and get subscribed for more color grading and filmmaking videos. Anyway, let's get into it. Starting off, I just have a basic grade in the image that'll just get us started, just a Rec 709 transform. So we're all kind of starting from the same place. Then just a little bit of contrast and then just a custom curve. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a new node. You can just press Alt S or Option S on your keyboard. And then I'm also gonna make a couple layer nodes. So just Alt L or Option L if you're on Mac. If you don't know about layer nodes, super simple. Basically this is on bottom, this is on top of that, and this is on top of that. And you can add a whole bunch more. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into the second one here and we're gonna qualify out the skin. So we're literally just gonna take our eyedropper, grab the skin, gonna take down some of these lower saturation areas. And I've seen a bunch of tutorials online of people using mats with elements from the background, but that's not what we're doing today. So an easy way to fix this, we're just gonna literally take our pen tool, go out, grab a simple shape around her face. Gonna do this in real time so you can see just how fast you can get this done. Works best with, with uh, tights, for sure. And then we're just gonna go into our tracker. Boom. Track that, easy peasy. And this is a short shot, so it, it can take longer for bigger shots, and I don't recommend it for wides. This is mainly something you'd use on tights. We're then gonna go in, let's just use a bit of denoise on that, clean up the blacks, and I wanna get a little bit of her eyebrows, and let's just add a little bit of blur to that. Perfect. So we have our basic key. Okay, what do we do from here? We go in and we're gonna add some red to our shadows, some orange to our mid-tones, just to bring out that nice skin tone look. And we're gonna bring up, gain a little bit on her face. I just, I like the way this looks personally. And you'll notice that we're not actually seeing any differences with this because one goes on top of the other. So we'll turn this other note off. Now we're gonna start to see some of these differences we're making. So increase the gain. Take the lip down a little bit. Um, this is just a way of adding contrast to the face, but let's get to the beautifying. We go into mid-tone detail and we're gonna crank that down a bit. So let's go, let's say minus 50. Awesome. Now we're going from this to this, but the real secret weapon here is now we are on top of this other node so we can give a more dramatic look behind us. So let's go into, just gonna enable my Pernalite hotkeys. And now, let's say we wanna go for that orange and teal look. Well, we'll just bring down our reds, pump up the blues a little bit, drop that, boom. Look at that. And let's increase our mid-tone detail on this top node. So we'll go with like, let's say 60. So now, just to show you an example of if we wanted to get this look without qualifying out the skin, this is what we'd be looking at. And if you handed that to your client, I don't think they'd be very happy. <laughs> so this is why we do this. Now, another thing we can do if you wanna put in the extra work is we're gonna fix up the eyes. So I'll show you exactly how we do that. So let's enable this node here. And then gonna take our pen tool and it's as simple as it looks. We're literally just gonna draw box around the eyes. Okay, now we have that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna track it. So we're gonna track each individual one here. And we're gonna track the other eye. Awesome. Now we're gonna do a key on this as well, just to get out the parts of skin because we only wanna impact the eye, the whites and the pupil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here we're gonna drop our hue, because that doesn't matter, and we're just gonna go down to the saturation and bring that high end way down. And you'll see it, skin will drop off right there. Perfect. 
We're then gonna denoise that, clean up the black a little bit. Now, we can go in and we can increase the brightness. So we're gonna bump up our gain on the eyes. And let's just make them a little bit sharper. We're gonna go down, bump up that sharpening. Boom, like that, easy peasy. And those eyes really pop out. Maybe we can bring that color back in from the main grade if we like that. Down. Now we have that nice teal look also in the eyes. We can increase the mid-tone detail on that as well. And now we have individual control over each of the parameters of the face. So that's how you can make your image look amazing, totally for free. If you liked that video, be sure to hit that button and get subscribed for lots more content like this. Anyway, have yourself a good one. Okay, bye.